Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I was testing my speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Israel and Gilberto, you're the most punctual guys. Gilberto looks like his hat. Is it hat in your neighborhood, Gilberto? Gilberto. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Is it hat in there? Yes. Okay. Here as well. It's kind of hot. How about you, Israel? Do you have air conditioning or something? You look fresh. <laughs> I, no, just the fan. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't even have a fan here. I don't know why. I should get one. Because it's hot. You should rather than it being hot. <laughs> true, true, yes. But the thing is that the sometimes fans are very noisy, you know? So that's why I, I never use them when I'm teaching because I feel like it's too noisy. But I'll see. We have Andres. Hello, Andres. Are you a listener today? I see. I already checked. Mauricio, welcome. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Danny. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay, Andres. Well, okay, we're going to give your classmates a few more seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to get some water because I forgot. So I'll be right back. Okay, who else do we have here? Let me see if we have someone new. Uh, not yet. Well, um, it, while we're waiting for your classmates, we're going to remember yesterday, we, um, we didn't finish the last activity, which was about um, discussing a 
the maturity of a product, right? When it, there is market saturation. So there were some questions that we were discussing in order to provide suggestions, right? On what to do about it. Okay, Rodrigo, you can buy some Coca-Cola for us. <laughs> okay, okay. Good. Thanks for letting us letting me know. Um so we're going to start with that. I think uh let me see. Well, Gilberto and Israel, for example, uh, we're working together, right? Danny, who were you working with? And my house teacher. Who were you working with yesterday in the last activity? Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> Who was your your partner, your classmate? Who did you work with, Danny? Your classmate. Dani, ¿con quién trabajó usted en la última actividad? No, no recuerdo, teacher. Creo que no. no, no recuerdo. Okay. Well, um, I was just checking if we had the people like complete pairs. So we're going to start with Israel and Gilberto. I don't know how you guys have a, agreed to participate um, or to explain the results of your discussion. So uh, let's see, what would you like to share? Well, first, let me refresh your mind about the activity. Let's let's check the, the material together, okay? Okay. So, um let me see we were here okay this part right so this is the activity okay we had to choose a renowned product or service and i told you that renowned means popular or familiar for everybody for many people so choose a renowned product or service that is saturating the market, okay? That was the first thing. Then we were going to discuss the questions. What effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? Okay, what is the effect in price and quality? What strategies are the competitor companies applying to deal with saturation? And the other is, what other strategies would you recommend? Okay, so let's see if we have something from our classmates right now. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, Israel and Gilberto, teacher, can you share, please? Teacher, in the chat, eh, Mandelo del Camper. Yes, chicken. but I need you to explain, okay? Sí, sí. Um, if you... Podría okay, compartirlo. You... O así nomás. Um, Okay, do you want me to share it here? Lo, lo proyectamos? Yes, yes, Por... please. Okay, okay, give me a second. Gilberto, do you want to start the presentation? Okay. Thank you. Um, okay, just give me a second. I'm going to download it and open the file. Okay. 
campero chico. Yes. Okay, here we go. This is the information from Campero uh, Chicken. Mm -hmm. Good evening, my partner. Uh, Camper Chicken, uh, they choose to renewal product service that's in Saturday in the market. Point one. What effect does market saturation have in the price and quality in the product? Mm -hmm. The immediate effect is lower price and lower quality. Mm -hmm. okay. number, number two, what strategy, strategies are the competitor companies appear in deal with saturation? Um, Brand companies in the country have changed the restaurant model to a small mobile take it out units. Okay. Uh, Don Israel, continue. Okay. Like my partner said, mm -hmm. uh, number three, the recommendation, because we were talking about the the all the brands of fried chicken that are in El Salvador, for example. Mm -hmm. With Gilberto, we were talking about Pollo Campero, eh, Don Pollo, mm -hmm. Pollo Campestre, and the Pollo Pinulito, and all those <laughs> brands that are the same. Okay. If all of you see, it's the same market about the fried chicken, but there is a saturation of brands that uh, offer to the client the same it's not the same at, at the end it's not the same but um, it's it's all about the um, let's see the, the flavor of the chicken is so different in pollo campero in, in pollo pollo, ah, pollo real too pollo pinulito etc uh -huh. so now the, what is the problem because they have to low the cost of every meal, and if you go to Pollo Campero, the lowest meal, it costs around $3, I think. And Pollo Campestre is the same, $2.99, and Pollo Pinolito, $1. And, <laughs> and that is the problem when the, the market is saturated with the same product. And like my, my, my partner said, the recommendation is we have to think about the low cost market like dining in, in the country's is market. Okay. Uh, the, I don't get the last part here. What do you mean by this? All right. What is that? Dining promos? Uh -huh. do dining... You Dining rooms. Ah, okay, okay, I see. In this yeah, case, I, missed I think I think you wanted to say, like we say in Spanish, comedor, right? But in this sí. case, comedor is like a little dining room is the comedor in your house. Like yes. a place where you the room where you where you eat. Uh, sí. but if we are talking about a small restaurant then it would be diner. Dining room in the country markets. Dining. Sí. sí. Eh, Gilberto. Me quedé directa. Sí, then dining teacher. The word is diner. Uh -huh. Yes, dining. Diners. Lo que explicaba eh, Gilberto es que una cosa es dining room, como el lugar donde comemos en nuestras casas, ¿ok? Y eh, lo otro es comedor de un pequeño, como un pequeño restaurante. Entonces, yeah. cuando nos referimos a esa palabra, a un comedor, a un restaurante pequeño, entonces usamos la palabra diner. Okay, ah, okay. diners. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the diners in the country. Ok, yeah. aquí sí ya me perdí igual. Esta última parte no, no comprendo muy bien. 
Can you explain? Yo me, eh, la explicación era pequeños comedores como los mercados, ¿verdad? En todo el país. Ah, ok, ok. So, it means that the, the, this kind of chicken, the fried chicken, um, okay, if we want to use would rather, because remember that we are using this expression, we can say, our recommendation is that, um, is that a fried chicken would rather a be would rather be promoted in in the local market like the diners um, around the country around the country okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay i'm going to correct it here Yes. So our recommendation, porque son dos ustedes, so our recommendation is that a fried chicken. Okay, y apaguemos el micrófono. No sé si Gilberto, usted está al fondo. Our recommendation is that fried chicken would rather um, oh fried chicken companies. Fried chicken companies would rather sell a low cost at low cost places like the diners in the um, markets around the country. Okay? That's the idea you wanted to express, right? That See, okay. It should be sell they, they should be selling this product the, the fried chicken at low cost places like the diners in the markets around the country okay very good well uh congratulations to israel and gilberto because they have these questions already answered um and i know that they put together these ideas yesterday and probably they had to work today about on it as well. So let's give a big clap to Israel and Gilberto, okay? Now, let me, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to save the changes and send, send you the document later, okay? So you can see how, um, I mean, your idea, the one that you have here in number three, how we can say it that it is more clear, okay? Well, let's see who is next. Who is next? Um, Danny, do you have any information to share, Danny? Mm, uh, um, not, no, no, I have a uh, document, teacher. Uh, for Shadid, um, only is conversation with the partner. Okay, and... perfect. no problem. You don't need to have a document, but I'm just asking you to share uh, related to the conversation that you had. Uh, with my partner, I record this Rolando and, and Gavin. Ah, okay, okay. So go ahead, share your your conversation. What product did you think about? Uh, and the product is uh, uh, the beers. Uh, what effects in the market saturation is uh, effect negative in in the quality the uh, of product for okay, but, the Danny can you please repeat the product that you guys discussed 
the beer. Beer. Okay. The okay. national beer teacher. National beer. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead. Continue, please. Uh, my partner, Gabby. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, um we speak about the, the this product mm -hmm. and the difference uh, strategic for the sell more beer in this uh, time in Christmas time for example mm -hmm. and we talk about the the one example uh can be the this the cell idea of the family or the the party party new year or the the christmas night too and uh -huh. the other i don't know the the the, the second point of the, the the strategic i don't know i i don't remember but we we talk about the the ah yes this is what I, you I, just I, mentioned, I, don't, I remember the second one I think you were answering the second question the second question no I mean right now what you were saying like for example that uh, they are promoting it for these two big nights for Christmas and right. years these are the strategies that they are applying to deal with saturation. I guess the yes. question is the one that we are missing. What other strategies would you recommend? Uh, we talk about the, for example, the night, is, uh, night ladies or ladies night ladies. or Friday mm -hmm. or uh, the, the birthday party too. The, okay. the, the, I don't know. The weekend, for example, and the, it is a, a other strategic will we recommend to the sell more, for example, this week or wow. in this month for mm -hmm. the graduations too, or the this this uh, event in this time. Okay. But here, I think we would need we would need a to exp to be more specific. Like, how would you promote? Like in this case, I guess we need to think of, for example, uh, if you buy, I don't know, a ten boxes of beer, you get two for free. Or if you buy fifteen boxes, you get um three for free i don't know something like that or you get some discount some i don't know 10 15 percent if you pay with this card this is what they do many times like they got this they've got these promotions where for example if you pay with your agricola card you get 20 percent off or if you pay with your uh, I don't know, your da vivienda card, you pay, you get some other discount. That is a, something that we could use as an example, like the specific strategy, right? And remember, in order to uh, also to use the, the expression would rather, for example, uh, we could say here, what other strategies would you recommend uh, well, based on your idea, Gabby, Gabriela, uh, we could say, for example, um, okay, let me let me write it here. I'm going to give me a second. I'm going to open another file here. Um, Okay, so in this case, with your ideas, Gabriela, we could say, for example, um, National Beer 
companies would rather um, would rather um, let's see have discount promotions. A for big events. Okay, so we can say that national beer companies would rather have discount promotions for big events. Okay, then a keep the market. Saturated. Okay, because right now we are talking about market saturation, right? And we are providing ideas on how to deal with market saturation of the product. In this case, your product is beer, right? So this is my example with your ideas, okay? I'm using your ideas to give you examples on how to express. Okay, let's give a clap to Gabriela and Dani. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. And let's see, who else is going to share? Who else is here ready to share? Let me see, let me see. Um, okay, um, Leticia, who did you work with? Who was your classmate? We are we are sharing uh, the discussion we had last last class about the the market saturation of a product. Remember this activity? The last activity? This one? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you have something to share? Uh, yes. Un segundo, espérame. One moment, please. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no puedo compartir. Ah, wait a second. Vamos a dejar de compartir. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the, the effect the does market saturation of high high risk. Okay, Leticia. High. Leticia, yes. your product, can you tell us what your product is? The it one is, um high high the high the risk. <laughs> peluquería. Hairdressers, hairdressers. Hairdressers. Hair dressers. Hair dresses. Hair dresses. Hair, hair. Hair dresses. No, no usamos la I, sino que solamente el hair. Hair. Hair dresses. Yes. Okay. Uh, the saturation of hair dresses can have 
several effects on a city or region. For example, there may be fierce competition among existing higher salons, mm -hmm. which can lead to a decrease in price and a decrease in the quality of service. In addition, the saturation of higher salon can lead to a decrease in the profitability. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> of existing higher salon, which can lead uh, to their clo closure. 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 Mm -hmm. And a strategy are the comp competitor. Mm -hmm. uh, have a presence on social media. Mm -hmm. Analyze the target audience and the competition. Mm -hmm. Offer pack, promotion, and discount. Communicate with customer. Mm -hmm. Allow customer to visit the business. And create content of interest to the audience. Okay. Yeah, create innovative and target offer. Okay. Okay. And my, uh, my compañera. <laughs> Aquí está la otra parte. Who is your classmate? Um, ay, no recuerdo cómo se llama. <gasps> Guys, <laughs> come on. A ver, ¿cuánto tiempo han sido compañeros ustedes? Mm, no, pero ella es primera vez. Ah, ok, ok. Ahí sí se los perdono. Sí. <ríe> ok. Pero... Ay. Was it Rebecca? I don't know if Rebecca is here. Ah. I think not. Or Lady. Lady is as a listener today. She's sick. Eh, no, Lady, no. Sofía, Sofía is participating today, but she did not participate yesterday. Mm. Uh, well, that's it. We don't have anybody else. Uh, Women. No recuerdo. No, no, no <laughs> recuerdo el nombre. Good, good offer. Strategy are recommended to keep a higher salon open. Mm -hmm. Take care of your customer, offer excellent customer service, and make your customer feel valued. Mm -hmm. You can offer discount to returning customer, a gift or coupon for referring or bringing mm -hmm. a prime as new customer. Mm -hmm. Or a saving coupon that offer a free service after you've already booked a certain number. Mm -hmm. the 10 free high code. Okay. Mm -hmm. And or uh, invest in the aesthetic of your venue. venue Venue. Mm -hmm. Make sure your salon has an attractive and welcoming appearance. Appearance. You can, appearance. Mm -hmm. you yes. can invest in decor, lighting, and music to create a relaxing and pleasant atmosphere for your customer. Okay, well, thank you, Leticia. I know you did a great effort uh, sharing this material with us, and I see that it is very complete. So let's give a clap to Leticia, everybody, please.
Okay. Um, well, I don't know. I am not seeing anybody else who was participating yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to make some comments regarding a, your your a work uh, about this discussion. Well, a, I think this is something I forgot to emphasize last last class when I gave you the instruction that we try to uh, provide the suggestions using the would rather expression, right? The, the one that we were practicing. Um, for example, with Gabriela's ideas, I gave you an example on how to, how to express it. With Leticia's ideas, for example, um, we could say um, like, okay, give me a second, I'm going to share my screen. Um, let's share, let's share. Okay, sorry, <laughs> wrong document. Okay, uh, with, with um, Leticia's ideas, for example, we could say a hairdresser, hairdresser salon, or just salons, okay, beauty salons, let's say, beauty salons, would rather um would rather offer a discount and three okay would would rather offer discounts to returning customers than um than keeping their normal price or the regular price, regular, regular price in order to, a, okay, here I'm going to use an, a word that you didn't use Leticia, but I think it, it fits, to retain them retain the, the returning com customers, right? Because here, in this case, we're talking about a service, beauty salons, right? So if, if, if you go to a beauty salon where they treat you well and they give you discounts after, like you said, Leticia, for example, after 10 haircuts or five haircuts, right? Uh, you go and, I mean, you don't, change places right because they one of the main uh, reasons for people to keep going to the same place is because they are treated well right i think that is one of the most important parts but also promotions discounts we all love discounts right uh, uh, for loyalty for being loyal customers so this could be an example on how to use would rather um, in this uh, type of uh, strategies, right? Strategies to, um, in this case, to deal with market saturation, which is the goal of the discussion. Okay, well, um, I don't know if there was somebody else who wanted to share. I don't see anybody else, but... Let's see. No? Did we miss someone? From the pairs that you worked with yesterday? I guess not, right? Okay, good. Um, something else that I'm going to advise for everybody and I'm going to do it in, in, in Spanish, just so everybody's clear. Um, okay, uh, no sé, ahorita, bueno, son creo que tres módulos por nivel, ¿verdad? Ahorita ustedes están en el, bueno, los que iniciaron desde el principiante o no sé si se han agregado en el camino, pero eh, les animo a que a estas alturas, que estamos en intermedio, eh, nos vayamos eh, como soltando un poco 
de la parte de... Es decir, sí es bueno que escribamos nuestras ideas, ¿verdad? Cuando vamos a, a, a presentar algo, pero también eh, acostumbrémonos un poco más, es decir, acostumbrémonos a ser un poco más espontáneos, ¿ok? Porque recuerden que en las, en las situaciones de la vida real, les, eh, justo eso es lo que necesitamos, la espontane espontaneidad. Eh, la rapidez con la que mi cerebro va a buscar una estructura gramatical, un, una palabra, una expresión, eso lo tengo que ir eh, trabajando eh, desde siempre. Entonces les animo a que eh, tra trabajemos esa parte, ¿verdad? De ser más espontáneos y así, eh, aunque nos equivoquemos, pero eh, la práctica, como dicen, hace al maestro, ¿verdad? Entonces, the more we practice, the better we get at eh, this kind of activities. Yo sé que nos da miedo, sé que algunas veces nos, no nos gusta equivocarnos, ¿verdad? Pero, pero eh, en este caso, pues, los errores se valen, ¿ok? Um, so, I don't know if there is any question after this activity. Any question? What do you think about the expression would rather? Is it easy? No question, teacher. Okay, thank you, Gilberto. Um, what do you think about the expression would rather? Is it easy or difficult for you? Teacher, I can understand that the meaning the would rather is like if we talk, if we say, uh, if we would prefer. Exactly, mm -hmm. and yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's a synonym of prefer. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Well, if we don't have any other question, everybody, we're going to now, well, I always give you a few seconds for you to fill out or think about uh, the self-assessment, okay? Here uh, we have... Okay, here at the bottom we have a uh, now... Okay, let's focus here on the self-assessment. Now I can make suggestions about how to deal with market saturation. So please... Um, think about whether you can do it independently with no help or if you can do it with occasional help, maybe some um, vocabulary, a word, a phrase that you can remember, or if you can do it only with help. Okay, so please uh, choose the the option that better uh, fits your reality, okay? Can you do it independently? Can you do it with occasional help? Or can you do it only with help? Okay, we are now ready to go to our next lesson and we have a new objective here, okay? We are still talking about the product life cycle, unit one, right? But here we have a new objective. Okay, um, let's see. Andres, can you help me read the objective, please? I will be able to. Yes, teacher, but I, I, I don't know if I do share another screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, you're right. I am sharing the Word document. Thank you. Here we are. Sorry. Okay, teacher. First, would you agree that your company has fires? Okay, we are reading the objective right now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will be able to identify reasons for the decline of a product, suggest strategies 
for a business to deal with the decline of a product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So we're going to start with these questions. Okay. Um, let me see somebody else who can help me read. Mauricio, can you help me read the questions, please? The first question. Mauricio, are you a listener? Okay, Sofia, please. Can you read the question? Okay, teacher. Would you agree? Yes. This is the question. Yes. Would you agree that your company has fires competitors? Okay. Competitors. Yes, that is the first question. So let's focus on that one first. Would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Fierce competitors. I think yesterday we discussed the meaning of fears. Do you remember, a, or does anybody remember the, the meaning of fears? Yes, teacher, it's a stronger. Strong, okay, it's strong. I'm going to write it here just so you remember, guys. Okay, strong, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so would you agree that your company has strong competitors? Okay, uh, so based on everybody's uh, reality, let's see. Can you raise your hand if you think that your company has fierce competitors, okay? Raise your hand with the, with the reaction. Does your company have fierce competitors? Raise your hand, please. Okay, Israel says yes. Okay, who else? Andres, uh-huh. Okay, Danny. Gilberto, okay. Okay, a few of you say that your company has fierce competitors or strong competitors. Okay, now the next question. Does competition affect businesses negatively? Does competition affect business negatively? How? Mm -hmm. Okay, who would like to answer this question? I'm taking volunteers. Nice teacher. Go ahead. Okay, teacher, in my case or in my opinion, I can I can say that that is bad because make many difference in the groups of in the in the company. So the some groups when they feel that someone is better in some in some department or some area, they want to they, well, they, they feel bad feelings from this person, or from these groups. So they work separate of this group. So sometimes that is bad because makes that the, 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 the money decline from the company because they don't, they don't do better the, the job they do. Or it could be that they do better the job, but they, also always have some differences working together. Okay, thank you, Andres. Now, I think uh, you're talking about, well, I understood that you are talking about, you know, like a group, um, how do you call it? Um, like when there is some rivalry or like there are different groups in the same company, that don't agree with each other, that is a different kind of competition, Andres. In this case, we are talking about 
like for example eh, Gilberto for example, and chicken pollo, pollo like uh, ah, don yes. pollo and exactly. pollo campera ah, okay okay <laughs> that kind of competition <laughs> yes uh -huh. yes um, okay well in my opinion I can say that that is uh, normal that the different companies has uh like um fire competitor competitors uh -huh. because they wants to they wants to that the the customers spend the money in in their companies so for me it's normal it's not bad for me in this case because mm -hmm. they want that the this mark um well the the the, the people prefer this mark mm -hmm. so that for me it's normal that the the different companies um, has rivalries like you say teacher uh -huh. for maybe for like the the customers to choose this market okay very good definitely right um so competition in this case is not negative because that is what keeps companies like um updated right with the quality with the price um also with customer service right which are very i mean aspects that are very important to keep their own customers right so if there is no competition probably they wouldn't care about uh, the, the quality of the products or the price will be very high, right? Okay, thank you, Andres. Um, and we're going to uh, move on, okay? Because of time, uh, we're going to continue with number two, okay? These are our first two questions. Now, um, let me show you the instructions here. Sonia and Oscar are talking about green tortricas. Remember green torti tortricas <laughs> is a product that we checked in previous lessons. So green tortricas and the in its behavior in the market, okay? Um, well, we're going to read the conversation first and then we're going to practice it, okay? So let's see. Um, I need two models. Okay, I'm going to choose. Um, well, Sofia, Sofia, can you please uh, help? And Rodrigo, are you available now, Rodrigo? Yes, I'm available, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so Rodrigo, do the the Oscar part, and Sofia, please do the Sonia part. Okay. Okay. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce them into the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in, in to design the of the marketing strategy. strategy. Mm -hmm. I thought green tortricas would succeed with a, a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, let's just practice a few words. Um, so, okay, I- I can't. I was, I was telling you yesterday that we can practice a, like linking the sounds to make it sound more natural. So I'm just gonna give you some examples in this conversation where you can do that, okay? For example, let's see, when we say, did you hear the sales of the, the sales of the, sales of the, okay? We join the two sounds, sales of, sales of. So, uh, another example could be, uh, I can't believe it, believe it. I can't believe it. Believe it. Mm -hmm. Believe it. Also, believe it. we have another one here. A uh, introduce it, introduce it, introduce it. Mm -hmm. introduce and it. this one also you put a lot of effort, 
put a lot of effort. You put a lot, of, put a lot, lot of, effort, of effort. A lot of effort. Uh, effort. And let's see another one to be with a little luck. With a little luck. With a little luck. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, in this case, uh, for Sofia, uh, let's practice with succeed. Succeed. Succeed is to be successful, right? Succeed. Let's practice the pronunciation, please. Succeed. Okay, now, um, well, we're going to have some time to practice the conversation, but also I would like you to um, try to think of another product, okay? Here we are talking about tortricas, but um, think of another product, okay? We're, we are talking about a product which has, the sales have declined, okay? So for example, I don't know, I could say, did you hear the sales of the um, Huawei cell phone have declined? I'm not sure if that's true, but it's an example, okay? Did you hear the sales of the Huawei cell phone have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. That cell phone was really good with for taking pictures, and it was, very uh, popular when it was introduced to the market, okay? So something like that, like you provide some good characteristics or you express how it was when it was introduced to the market. Then uh, we say, yes, I remember. Um, in this case, in this specific example that I'm talking about the cell phone, I could say, Yes, I remember um, there was a lot of publicity, okay? There was a lot of publicity uh, for this cell phone. There were many promotions and people uh, really liked it, okay? So we are still talking about what happened in the market introduction stage, remember? And then in to finish, we can say, I thought the Huawei cell phone would succeed with, or we can just say, I thought the Huawei cell phone would be a successful uh, product. I guess I was wrong. Okay, we can use the same expression. So I gave you, I just gave you an example on how you can change the conversation, okay? To speaking, not just the, the we're going to, Okay, let's take um, three minutes to practice the conversation, this conversation. Can you hear me? Me acaba de aparecer un mensaje que está... My audio quality is not uh, good. Some of, the, some of the explanation was cut, teacher. But ah, okay. in resume, I think we, we under, understand you. But if you want it, you can explain it again. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I was saying that, um, well, we're going to have some time. I'm going to give you three minutes to practice this conversation, okay? And you take turns as usual. And then we're going to take um, probably from three to five minutes to try to change some of the, I, the ideas in the conversation, okay? in order to create a new one. For example, I gave you the case of the Huawei cell phone, right? So uh, you saw that I could, I changed some details about the, the, in the conversation to make it more related to the, to the cell phone in this case. So that's what I need you to do. That is the second part, okay? Create a new example with using a new, another product and well, just changing some ideas related to the product that you choose, okay? So um, let's see if we are clear. What is the first step? Leticia, what is the first step? Mm. 
Leticia. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is the step number one that we're going to do? Um okay, can somebody help Leticia? Repeat, teacher. Okay, step number one, practice the conversation, this conversation. Okay. Step number two, change some parts of the conversation to create a new one about a different product, okay? Is it okay. clear now? Yes. Yes, it is, teacher. Yeah. Okay, great. So now let's get into pairs in order to start practicing. Okay. Let's see. We have... Okay, um, I'm not sure if Mauricio is participating. Rolando, I think Rolando is only listening. Same as Lady. So I'm not going to assign you three guys. Lady, Mauricio, and Rolando. Okay. puede traducir el tiempo real cuando 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 usted está hablando con otra persona mm, una serie de un, un, un serie reloj de inteligente ¿Cómo? Como un reloj inteligente device, device that can translate language at the same time that someone talking o sea que es como ah. es un un dispositivo, a device that can okay. change. Ajá, como, ajá, es un dispositivo que cambia el idioma cuando usted está hablando en el, en el momento. ¿Cómo le llamaría? Device intelligent. Intelligent device. Ajá, se, intelligent, tendría que ser tra, traductor, uh, translator, device. Ah, translator. Traductor, traductor, un dispositivo de traductor. Translate ah, okay. device. Translate device, no, translate intelligent device. Translate intelligent, sí, exacto.
dijiste green tortricas, ¿verdad? Uh, teacher. Uh -huh. Hello. Eh, eh, ¿Nos podría ayudar compartiendo la, la conversación? Yes. Here it is. Ahí está. Perfect, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hoy sí, compañera. Ok. Empecemos. Es ver las razones. And eh. the, you will hear ourselves on the green. On, aquí donde le vamos a cambiar el nombre del producto, ¿verdad? No sé si. Yes, Gilberto, you're right. No sé si okay. le cambiamos a, a garlic de una sola vez, ¿verdad? <risa> Gilberto, ¿do you work with garlic? Que siempre yeah. lo oigo hablando de garlic. Sí, eh, I sell garlic in the company. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Y, y canela también, ¿o qué más? Sí, todas las especies. Eh, Spice, uh, cinnamon, cumin, piper. Ok. De eh, el módulo no. pasado, eh, y también Lin, estamos hablando de las aceitunas. Pues. Ah. <ríe> sí, aceitunas. <ríe> ok. Ok. ¿Do you work for McCormick or something like that? <ríe> no, eh. McCormick is your competitor, maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Compañera, con usted you. trabajamos la aceituna la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, la aceituna. Well. Y antes, ah, también el, la semilla de anís. La flor de anís. Ah, anís estrella. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero si quiere trabajar. <laughs> Trabajamos las aceitunas, que ya conociste un poco del tema, ¿verdad? Ok, did you take a picture of the, of the conversation? Because I, I, I was trying to go, si me voy creo que ya no lo van a poder ver. Listo, teacher. Ok. Yeah. I take the screen. Great. Ok, teacher. Bye. Entonces, eh, green tor tortricas. No, tortrica lo vamos a cambiar. Ahí es donde se pierde. Ahí es donde se pierde. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you want to change the product because it's going to be easier if we are going to do the presentation. Okay. ¿De qué producto quisiera hablar, Leticia? Um... Dejemos la medicina a un lado, vaya. Sí. <risa> ah, vaya, la, la Fanta Colita, no, la, ¿cómo se llama? Las cremas soda. Who crema is soda. A, are you a doctor, Leticia? Ah, no, you work in a pharmacy, right? In a doctor. Yes. Ah, ok, ok. Yes. Por eso que habla de armas. Ok. <risa> yes. um, ok, I'm going to start. La... Did you hear the sales of the crema soda have declined? I didn't, I can't believe it worker many of uh, Mauricio, do you have a question? Uh, hello, this year. No, 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 I don't have a question. Okay, I didn't add you to any group because I thought you were a listener. Yes, but I'm, I'm, I'm very teacher. Ah, okay, so I'm going to add you to a, a group. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me
Hello, you have a new member. Mauricio. Is okay. So he can also uh, participate. Vaya, entonces si quieren, eh, podemos agregar otra, otra línea para, para Mauricio. Okay, great. Why are you using this kind of a screen, Rodrigo? It looks like eh, Windows XP or something like that. Windows. Uh, XP, XP is a, it, it was died many years ago. No, this is 11, but in, in dark thing. Okay. And this is the, ah, the, the notes. Is the notes. Uh -huh, the notes. Um, mm -hmm. File, okay. Okay, so you're uh, the conversation. Good. Sí, yes. Uh, we'll add Mauricio in the in this conversation. Okay. So, Mauricio, actually, we are uh, reviewing the the uh, the the last uh, conversation, and we are making some some change. So uh, we're going to add you some lines. If you like, you can read it and make your ideas, and I, I will put it. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I can notice you here, myself here. Uh huh. Uh, I can. Uh huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. Maybe the lot of marketing strategy. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, finish idea. Sería I don't uh, translate intelligent device. Go to say. Uh, Sí, lo, lo principal de Google the style starts way intelligent device have declined. Eso sería lo, lo primero. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces... conversación. Entonces de ahí ya sería la última parte que I saw green tortricas will succeed with a little look. I guess I poquito mejor. Sí, ya. Solo que quizás en el que me trabo yo la palabra sería mm. I can I I did, I can believe it. I can I can it. believe it. I can't believe it. Believe it. I can believe it. I can believe, believe it. it. Uh -huh. In uh, all to introduce, introduce o introduce? Introduce it. Pero con introduce la, tratando it. de Ajá. pronunciar la T, ¿verdad? Intro, introduce it. Introduce Igual it. que believe it. Yes. Introduce it. Ajá, introduce exactly, it. yes. Introduce it. Uh -huh. Introduce it. Ok. Ya de ahí, efforts, effort. El no, yo pronuncio este. Effort. 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 Uh -huh. effort. effort. Y 
succeed, 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 succeed. In that case, is succeed, succeed, succeed. Mm -hmm. I saw garlic will succeed, 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 yes. Suck mm -hmm. okay. with Sack. a little mm -hmm. with a little look, I guess I was wrong. Mistas. Ajá. Hello. Vaya, Mauricio. Eh, no sé qué le vas a agregar ahí de último. Uh, bueno, y esa parte es como el cierre, ¿verdad? De la, uh -huh. eh, o sea, mi... algún comentario adicional. Que quizás yo estoy haciendo ahí. Ajá. Bueno, nada más quizás este. Oh, a ver. Ahí se bueno, quizás como nada más este esperamos tener eh, mucho éxito con estos nuevos productos que le dije. Okay, eh, eh, Mauricio, can you try to say it in English? Ah, yes. Uh, uh, yes, sir. We hope to we hope to to have uh, uh, many success with this new product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. Well, you're almost ready, right? We're coming back to the main room in a little bit. Okay. Okay, to see. Pueden. Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, I, I think most of you are ready. I saw you were working on your conversations. Um, okay, but before we do that, I need to pass the attendance. I forgot to, to check um, before. So let's see. Let's see, let's see here. Okay, Danny Anthony, si buen aventura. Mm, present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa María Ríos. Present teacher. José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Present. Eh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. I saw Julio for a moment, but he's... Julio, are you there or not? Okay, I guess as a listener because he's not answering. Uh, let's see Lady Joanna, she is sick. She's a, she's a listener today. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. 
I'm here. Okay, let's see. Maria Leticia Realigeño González. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Present teacher. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. She's not here today. A uh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenca. I don't know what happened to Roberto today. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. He's a listener today. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Me teacher present. Great. Okay, let's continue. So um, let's see. Well, I don't remember the order that you were in the groups, but let's see. Uh, let's just start with um, Danny's group. Okay, teacher. Um, and Andres, um, Oscar and okay. Sonia. You can start, okay. man. O sea, tú puedes comenzar. Ah, ok. Yeah. Uh, did you hear the sales of the translating tension device have declined? I did. And I can't believe it. That sounds horrible. We work a lot of hours to develop this device. Oh, yes. I I remember uh, this device stay uh, way of design the marketing strategy. I thought that this device would success in the market, but now we know that will that that all branches are closing. Okay, teacher. Okay. That's all teacher. Great. Let's clap for them, please. Okay, they were talking about a translator intelligent device, right? There, there is there is a reality teacher. Right now in, in the United States, it's mm -hmm. a reality. Ah, okay. I don't know if everybody knows this word, device. Yes. Okay. Examples of devices could be a gadget. Aha, uh -huh. a gadget. Your cell phone is a device. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a smartwatch. Um, the how do you call them? Earpods. The earpods. Uh -huh. The e the wireless earphones. Mm -hmm. And so on. Okay, great. Let's continue with Rodrigo's group. You were three, right? With yes. Yes. Can I share the yes? I can. Yes. Okay, this is our conversation. So uh, did you hear the sales of the seafood pizza have grew? I did, and I can believe it. We worked many weeks to introduce into the market. Hey, Mauricio, are you there? Yes, yes, yes sorry, sorry. Um, yes, I remember you put a lot of support in the design of the marketing strategic strategy strategy and now we can see the fruits of that effort i thought seafood pizza would succeed in fact the product is growing at high rhythm congratulations sofia your idea was excellent we hope to have many success with this new proposal Okay, great. Let's clap for the group, Sofia, Rodrigo, and Mauricio. Great. Okay, I just have a little uh, 
correction here, guys, because you're saying that the pizza have grown. I mean, the, the sales in the pizza have grown, right? So, mm -hmm. so in this case, um, I think the second part doesn't match because it's like, um, I think it would make more sense if we say, I did, for example, Sophia, I did, and it is amazing. We worked many weeks to introduce it to the market because you're not talking about decline, but increase, right? So it's like you're happy about this. So you can say it's amazing, it's great, it's awesome, it's incredible, etc. Um then um let's see okay the mauricio's line is is okay uh, then sofia i thought seafood pizza okay this also this is something that we need to change as well because since we are saying that pizza has grown the pizza sales then um in in the in this line we 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 are saying the opposite, right? So I thought seafood pizza would not succeed. Lo podemos cambiar por eso. Okay. Yes, Israel. I will show it. Would not succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that succeed is to be successful, right? So mm -hmm. in this case, it would not. Uh -huh. In fact, the product is growing at high at a high. A read -on. Mm -hmm. right. There is another word for read -on. Let me see. In fact, the product pace instead of read -on, because it has a different meaning in this context. In this context, we will use pace, que se traduce lo mismo como ritmo en español, pero que sí se adapta más al contexto. Entonces, vamos a decir at high, well, we could also use speed. <laughs> Speed, speed or aha, uh -huh. yes, speed at high speed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you have extra participation today, Rodrigo. Yes, <laughs> um, okay, Con yeah, congratulations, Sophia. Your idea was excellent. Mm -hmm. We hope to have, um, okay, in this case, we could say we hope to have a lot of success. Okay, ya vamos a ver ahí los countable and non-countable nouns. Success is non-countable, so we say a lot of success. Let's change many. We hope to have a lot of success. A lot of success, okay? Great. So in your case, guys, your conversation is not about decline. It's about increase, right? Increase of the... Mm -hmm of the sales. Okay, good. Let's see um, who is next. Ah, eh, Israel wants to check the, the chat. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna share the screen here. Also, the the picture of the conversation is in the chat, guys, because um, I think Gabriela shared the picture. Okay, let's see who is next. Um, Gilberto and Gabriela. Okay. Gabi? Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Gilberto. Okay, did you hear the sales, the green uh, garlic has declined? I did. I can't believe it. We worked many hours introduce, uh, introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of offer in design, in the marketing strategy. I thought garlic will sauce it with a little look. I guess I was wrong. Okay. In this case, you changed the product only. Thank you. Yes. For Gabriela and Gilberto. 
Okay. Let's see um, who is missing. We have, okay, Israel and Leticia, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, did you hear the sales of the crema soda have declined? <clears throat> I did. And I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I took crema soda good success with a little look. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Thank you. Do you remember crema soda, guys? <laughs> yes. yes. Israel, Israel, Israel misses crema soda. I remember jengibre, manzanita tropical, piña tropical. <laughs> La grapete. No, pero ese ya ahorita está otra vez. We can find it. Pero de las viejitas. Soda. It's kind of soda on the market of the gasoline that station. Is. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a soda drinker, so I don't know. But if you like this kind of soda, then then you know where to find it. Yes. Well, what I heard is that the well, it it made a comeback, right? Regresó, but they said that it wasn't the same. What do you think? Is it the same? For me, for me, it's the same. I, the flavor is the same. Okay. I don't. I have never tasted it, so I cannot say. <laughs> I'm not as as excited as you about crema soda. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. I just want to uh, reinforce after all the practice. I want to reinforce on some of the pronunciation that we already practiced, but I think we still need to practice more. Okay. Uh, for example, when we say this, okay, the word sales, let's practice the pronunciation sales, sales. Also, um, let's see. Okay, this word, remember the stress is in the first syllable. Effort, 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 okay? Then another word that I think is a little difficult for some of you is this one, strategy, strategy. Fijémonos también, como les decía en la anterior, dónde, ya, dónde lleva el acento. Es decir, dónde se escucha más fuerte la sílaba, ¿ok? Eh, y no sé si esto ya se los había mencionado antes, pero yo siempre sugiero que tengan un cuadernito a la par y vayan escribiendo. Si ustedes tienen una dificultad en una palabra, que pues para pronunciar, ¿verdad? Que la escribamos como la... Escuchamos, por ejemplo, en el caso de strategy, eh, this is what I would do. I would write, a ver aquí. Okay, so I will write the way I hear it. So I hear it this way, Stra with tilde, strategy, strategy, así, así la escucho yo, okay, strategy strategy okay of course this is not the official if you look at the dictionary in the dictionary tenemos ahí los los como se llaman los símbolos fonéticos pero eh, pues si no conocemos los símbolos fonéticos es difícil y también eh, podemos buscar la pronunciación en internet claro pero eh, al escribir hay una conexión neuronal con nuestro cerebro. No sé si ya sabían eso, ¿verdad? Cuando tomamos notas de algo es más fácil que podamos recordarlo después. 
So this is my tip, okay? Uh, that you can write the words the way you hear them. Okay, and the other one that I think was new, I don't know if new for everybody today, but um, I also heard that we had difficulties was this one. So this is the way I would write it. I would, okay, suck, seed, succeed. And in this case, we, we, um, we emphasize this, the last syllable, okay? Succeed, succeed, okay? Mm, the last one, creo que había dicho, the last one, last one. <laughs> no, this is actually the last one. Uh, okay, give me a second because here. Vamos a escribir aquí, bajito. Okay, luck, luck. Uh, this is a combination of A and O, luck. Pero se escucha más como A, luck, luck. Okay, so a little luck, luck, luck. Okay, do we have any questions related to the book, this vocabulary? ¿Alguna frase que no haya sido completamente comprendida? No. Okay. Well, um, then if you don't have any question, we're going to continue with a different activity. And in this case, well, this is also pair work, right? And this is a, we, we have some questions, okay? Okay, um, so discuss the answers to the questions based on the information from the conversation, okay? And we have two questions, number one, in what stage of its life cycle is green tortricas at the moment? Okay, um, I'm going to do this a little bit differently and uh, I'm going to use, okay, give me a second. I'm going to use the wheel of names to choose the person who is going to participate in this question, okay? So, Give me a second, I just need to update according to the people who are here today. Um, okay, so. Um, okay, I'm going to choose now someone to help me. Pero permítanme, vamos a compartir toda la pantalla. Okay, so let's choose who is going to answer the first question. Tan, 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 tan. And the winner is Gabriela. Okay, let's go back to the questions. <laughs> Okay, the question is, in what stage of its life cycle is green tortricas at the moment? Remember, it's based on this conversation. Yes, have mm -hmm. the, the product have the climate feature. Mm -hmm. So the stage is? What is it's a... bad. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. To remember the the remember the the stages aha uh -huh. decline it decline is it is it this decline. one decline the decline mm -hmm. okay 
So, do you agree with Gabriela, everybody? Is it declined? Estamos de acuerdo? Do you agree? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Is okay. declined. Decline. Okay. Let's see. Um, let me go back to to the the questions here. Okay, the second question. Second question. In what stage of the green tortricas life cycle did Sonia invest a lot of effort? Okay, let's choose the person who is going to answer this question. And the winner is Julio. Are you participating, Julio? <clears throat> Julio? I'm not sure if you're participating. Well, he's not here right now, I think. Okay, let's choose. I'm here, sorry. I, I, I was drinking my coffee. <laughs> Aha, okay. Now you have to share your coffee. Can you can you repeat the question, please? Or I don't know. Yes. The question is the number two in our textbook. It says, in what stage of the green tortricas life cycle did Sonia invest a lot of effort? Remember, we are basing the answers on the conversation we just practiced. Mm, in the introducing, in the introduction of the product. Aha, market introduction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I need more water. And I don't have Um. So. Do you guys agree with Julio? Is Who it is Julio? introduction? Who is Julio? <laughs> He's Rodrigo. <laughs> the lie. <laughs> I, I don't remember that uh, that I have that third name, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um so yes, you agree. Is it mar it's market introduction, okay? When we in I think Sonia invest a lot of effort. Okay, good. Now let's see. We have another activity here. Um, we need to complete the statements, okay? And then compare with okay. a part. So in this case, I'm going to give you um two minutes because this is an individual activity, okay? So let's, com let's complete these uh, statements, okay? Um, you can choose, I mean, you can use the conversation again as an example for the phrases that you need to complete these sentences, okay? So let's take two minutes. Again, the, the phrases can be found in the conversation. Teacher. Hello, Andres? We are, going, we are going to put the works in there. Yes, in the I internet. mentioned that you are going to choose. Okay, again, see? I have the, I have okay. the answers. <laughs> oh, you have the answers. Okay, let's, yeah. let's, let's wait for everybody to finish. I don't know if, has everybody finished? Yes, teacher. 
Wow. Yes, teacher. Ustedes son flash. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, Andres, you want to participate? Go ahead. How did you complete number one? We work many hours to introduce into the market. Okay, let's see. So the answer, according to Andres, is many for number one. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Go uh, ahead. Yeah. Okay, thank you. My the microphone isn't work. Uh, it's working. We can hear you. Sí, sí, no funciona. Ah, okay. okay, so number two, what do you have, Julio? Um, I remember, uh, let me see, you, uh, you put a lot of effort. Okay, so the expression you use is a lot of, right? A lot of. Right? Lot of, lot of. A lot of. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see number three, who wants to do number three? Me teacher. Okay, Gilberto. I know the product who succeed with a little love. With? A little love. A little luck. Okay, perfect. Yes, all of them are right. Okay, um, now these expressions Okay, this, these phrases or these words are expressing quantity, okay? So we have many, a lot of, and a little, okay? So they express quantity. Let me write it here. Many, no, lo vamos a escribir en el, en el, en el documento. Okay, here. Después le voy a compartir este documento para que lo tengan ahí para estudiar. Ok. Um, so. Many. A lot of. And a little. A little. Quantity. amount, okay? So they express quantity or amount, it's the same. Quantity or amount is the same, okay? They are synonyms. Okay, now with this information, let's go back to our exercise, okay? Okay, so let's now get into this chart, okay? Which is about quantifiers, okay? Quantifiers, how to use quantifiers, okay? So all these are, how do we call them? Um, quantifiers. Quantifiers, exactly, quantifiers. Quantifier. And we have quantifiers for non-countable nouns, okay? What are the non-countable nouns? Those that we cannot count in a singular form, okay? For example, time, okay? The noun time cannot be counted. Pero usted me va a decir, claro que sí, tenemos días, tenemos horas, tenemos minutos. Sí, pero específicamente la palabra time, en general, no la, no la pluralizamos, ¿ok? Aunque también podemos tener, por ejemplo, cuando decimos, eh, I went to the supermarket three times this week. Ahí sí, pero no es el tiempo en general del que estamos hablando, sino que estamos hablando de veces, ¿ok? I went to the supermarket three times, or two times, or five times, ¿ok? But the word time in general is non-count, ¿ok? So let's not get confused with 
eh, that in this case with the case the the word time, okay? Estamos hablando específicamente de esta palabra del tiempo en general. Another example is money, okay? Money, money, money is non count. Y de nuevo, repito, pero me va a decir, ok, pero tenemos un dólar, dos dólares, three dollars, yes, but the word money, I don't say one money, two monies, three monies, right? I use a different noun to count. I don't know if, if is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It's clear. Yes, ok, very good. So here we have all, well, not all, but some examples of common quantifiers for non-count nouns, okay? So let's practice the pronunciation. A little time, a lot of time, some time, some much time, time. Much time, a great deal of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. No time. No time. Okay. Uh, now, if you ask me if some of these are synonyms, yes, I can tell you that in the case of, um, okay, let's write it in our material here. Okay, for example, a lot of. A lot of um, a great deal of a great deal of and plenty of all of these are synonyms. Okay, synonyms. So they mean the same. Podemos decir a lot of, a great deal of, or plenty of, y estamos hablando de lo mismo, okay? Um, now, let's talk about other quantifiers. That um, a little and some. Okay, a little and some. Huh. Okay, synonyms. Y aquí entre paréntesis vamos a poner because the first the first list is like you have much a lot of okay, so it's more, and the second is less okay. Por eso le puse ahí el sin. Más y menos. Ok. Now let's talk about the other side. Ok. In this case we have count nouns. And the example we have is hours. Hours. You can say one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Así es como decidimos si un, si un sustantivo es contable o no contable. Si podemos decir uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco con el, con el sustantivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, sí podemos decir una hora, dos horas, tres horas, ¿ok? And we have also some quantifiers, ¿ok? We have a few, a few hours, a lot of, some... Maybe. Some, maybe. Okay, ¿qué pasa con some? Look at some. We have it in both, okay? We have it in non-count and also in count nouns. ¿Qué significa eso? Que lo podemos usar for both, okay? For count and non-count, okay? And then we have many, many hours. Plenty of hours. Plenty of Or no hours. And I want you to check the also the, the relation that we see. For example, I told you that a little, así como lo, se lo puse aquí, 
is, okay, menos, less, okay? And for countable, we have a few, okay? A few. So if you translate this to Spanish, you will see that it means, they both mean the same. Ambos significan, eh, bueno, Poco. un poquito, unas pocas. <coughs> También hacemos la, el cambio a countable, unos pocos, ¿ok? A few. Pero es, nos hemos puesto de esta manera en, el, en, el, en la tablita para que veamos que es, es como el equivalente. Estamos hablando de poca cantidad, a little, a few. Eh, solo que uno lo utilizamos para non-count and the other one is for count nouns. Mm -hmm. um, well, also another one that we use for both, right, is a lot of. So I can say a lot of time or a lot of hours. Okay? And the same with some. Some, que también se repite, some time or some hours. Um, in the case of much, the equivalent is many, okay? For non-count, we say much time. For count, we say many, many hours in this case. Um, but a great deal of, no tenemos acá, no se usa un equivalente, pero yo les decía que se parece a lot of, okay? Or plenty of. And, uh, well, plenty of also is also for both, okay? I, for example, you can say, I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of hours. I've got plenty of hours. And also, no, um, I have no time. I have no hours left in my, uh, in my, work okay well so far do we have any question based on my explanation and the examples here no 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 teacher okay okay now i'm gonna give you an example okay uh, let's practice these these uh expressions we're gonna leave soon but before we leave, let's practice a little bit. Okay, so let's say that I'm using here, instead of time, I'm going to use the noun, let me see. Um, okay, I'm going to use the, the noun money and a product. Okay, money and product. So, what can I use for product? Can I say a few products? A few, a yes. few products. Okay, what about uh, if I say, um, I don't have, okay, in this case, it will say, I have a little money. Is that okay? Yes. I have a little. No. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Yes, it's, it's okay. Now, um, if I say, for example, uh, there are plenty of products in the market for skincare. Is that okay? Yes. There are yes. plenty okay. of products. Okay. Very good. Um, another example is, um, I have some money in the bank. I have some money in the bank. Is that correct? It is correct. Okay. Yes. yes. <clears throat> okay, very good. Well, um, now, I'm going to, okay, we're going to stop here because I still need to pass attendance for the last time. Uh, but we're going to continue with this tomorrow. Um, 
I'm going to, well, I need you to think of three examples of countable nouns and three examples of non-countable nouns, okay? And try to make a sentence for each using these quantifiers, okay? I'm going to write it in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, so you can remember, okay? This is like a little bit of more practice so that it is very clear for you when we use one quantifier or the other quantifier, okay? Okay. So um, now let me check the attendance for the last time. Okay. Wow. Sorry, it's loading. Okay. Danny Anthony Siwensa Ventura. Present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Um, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Um, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. She's a listener. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Rodrigo, where are you? Se no fue Rodrigo. Where are you? Sí. Posiblemente tuvo algún problema porque no, no nos dijo nada. In the WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, let's see. María Leticia Realejeño González. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, um, Rebeca María Cardona, not present today. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga, not present. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. She's a, he's a listener. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Here, teacher. Present. Ok. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadín. Present teacher. Great. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll give you the task over the chat. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Good, bye, -bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.